Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. We are excitedly waiting for April 6, 2024, which is the date that the new USS New Jersey, SSN 796, the third Navy ship to bear the name New Jersey, is going to be commissioned at Naval Weapons Station Earl in northern New Jersey. A lot about Virginia-class submarines like the new New Jersey is classified. However, the Navy has released some information uh, that's statistical stuff. And uh, it's interesting going through this list of information and comparing it to our New Jersey. So for example, this is a 1-300 scale model of New Jersey as built in 1943. This model of a Virginia-class submarine is a little bit undersized. It's only 1 350th scale, so it should be slightly larger, but it gives you an idea of the size difference between the Iowa-class battleship New Jersey and the new New Jersey. If you are interested in joining me, veterans of battleship New Jersey, and the crew of the new New Jersey and their families at the commissioning for SSN 796 on April 6th at Earl, New Jersey. There's a link in the description below where you can get tickets. There are a limited number of tickets, so it's essentially a lottery. Um, so you go in, you fill out your application, and then the Navy will choose uh, one whether you win, and then two, I assume they're gonna do some sort of background check to make sure you are able to go on to Naval Weapons Station Earl. This is an active Navy base. But uh, if you're going to be in the northern New Jersey area in early April and you're interested in seeing the commissioning of a new ship like I am, uh, you can put in for your chance to go and see the new New Jersey get commissioned. So let's look at some of these numbers and see just how the modern submarine compares to the World War II battleship. There are 80 years of design and development that separate these two ships. So these facts are from the commissioning book for the sub a Virginia-class submarine that's going to be similar to USS New Jersey. The uh, length overall, 377 feet, compared to us, 887 foot 7 inches. They don't use width, they use diameter because of the circular hull, uh, but their diameter is 34 feet. Our beam is 108 foot 3 inches. Their draft, when they're on the surface, is 32 feet. Ours is 38 feet. It's interesting seeing how much, you might be able to see the gray versus the black, how much of this is below water versus what's above. On the surface, she's gonna display 6,970 tons, whereas we displace 57,500 tons fully loaded. Submerged, she is 7,841 tons. I don't know what we would weigh submerged. It would probably be uh, 65 or 70,000 tons to get us underwater. And I don't know what it would take to get us neutrally buoyant. Uh, no battleship has ever successfully achieved that, though many Axis battleships attempted it. Her maximum speed is in excess of 25 knots. Our maximum speed uh, in Navy publications would say in excess of 30 knots. Uh, we now know that our New Jersey, BB-62, can go 35.2 knots. Her maximum depth is in excess of 800 feet. We've never found crushed depth for a battleship. Bismarck is probably the deepest one out there. She's over two miles down, and she didn't crush. Although, thanks to the Royal Navy, she had a lot of water on the inside at the time that uh, she attained that depth. So, I don't know. Uh, Hard to say. If we ever find out what the crush depth of an Iowa-class battleship is, we'll release a new video. Um, some extra numbers. The total crew size for Virginia-class submarine, 134 men. But the crew size at sea is only 113 men. In the 80s, an Iowa-class battleship crew size is about 1,600 men. The number of bunks on a Virginia-class submarine is uh, 119. So they do not have enough for the full crew, but they do have enough for every sailor that is on board when they're underway. The number of bunks on an Iowa-class battleship, in the 1980s at least, is 1,781. So we've got more than enough for the crew. On a Virginia-class 
Submarine bunks are 76 inches long and 25 inches wide. The 1980s bunks installed on New Jersey for enlisted sailors are 80 inches long and 28 inches wide. Her cruise mess will seat 28. Our cruise mess uh, plus chief's mess, first class mess, our, our crew messing spaces seat 420. Her wardroom seats 10. Our seat's about 80. She has nine vacuum operated toilets. Uh, forgive me, my numbers may be off a little bit. I was just counting off of the blueprints. I didn't go around and count every single one. Uh, New Jersey has somewhere around 148 commodes in service and they're not vacuum operated. The new New Jersey will have one washer and one dryer. Battleship New Jersey has three washers and two dryers as installed. They're really big, but she also had an additional four washers and four dryers, just like commercial ones that her crew put on board for their civilian clothes, which brings our total up to seven washers and six dryers. Uh, for frozen stores, she has 405 cubic feet and 235 cubic feet for chilled stores. Uh, we have approximately 18,000 cubic feet for frozen and 20,000 cubic feet for refrigerated. Oh, here's a cool one. Uh, computer slash information screens in their control room, 60. We don't really have a control room per se. The closest thing we have is the combat engagement center, which has 19 screens. That includes televisions, radar repeaters. Uh, there are only two true computers in there per se. Uh, so that, that's a really interesting distinction between a 1980s ship and a modern one. Uh, and then there's also uh, some really interesting numbers for food that we weren't entirely able to match up. It, it wasn't a perfect one for one, so we've only got a couple comparisons here. Uh, this is how much food she would carry on a typical three month or 90 day deployment. Uh, here's an interesting one. Every single day, Every single day, the galley mixes 22 gallons of bug juice. Uh, it's, a simple, it's essentially Kool-Aid or, or various types of fruit juice, powdered drink mixes. On Battleship New Jersey, uh, it was 89 gallons per day. There is a chance that for us, that is the amount of base that they put in and not the total amount produced. But also, Iowa-class battleships have uh, more access to other types of drink like fresh milk, if you can call bagged milk fresh milk, and uh, other things like that. So, so it's possible that that's just the base and not the total thing. It's possible that our crew is just drinking different stuff. Um, I can't imagine that our crew per capita would drink more coffee than theirs, but you know, the, we've got coffee machines all over the place. So those were some fun numbers. Have you ever gotten to see a ship commission? Let us know in the comment section down below which ones you've been to. I've been to the commissioning of USS Sterrett, an Arleigh Burke destroyer, and USS Savannah, a, an independence class littoral combat ship. But let us know which ones you visited. Instead of donating to support Battleship New Jersey, there's a link in the description below to the commissioning committee for the submarine New Jersey, which is paying for habitability upgrades of the crew of the ship, which will include theming parts of the ship to feel more like the state of New Jersey as part of the welfare and morale of the crew. For example, they're going to, uh, for example, they're going to decorate cruise mess on the new New Jersey to look like a New Jersey diner with neon lights and, and uh, diner style tables and, and benches and things like that. Uh, a lot of chrome interiors, which will make her unique from all of her other Virginia class sister ships. So if you'd like to donate to support the welfare and morale crew of the new submarine New Jersey, we've got a link to that in the description below. If you want to support Battleship New Jersey and the Cruise Welfare and Morale Fund, there's a link to our store below. We sell products uh, from the commissioning committee, like challenge coins for the submarine New Jersey, uh, apparel for the submarine New Jersey. So if you want to show off your support for them and uh, also support the battleship, go to that link down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals. Thank you for supporting the crew of the new New Jersey and their habitability upgrades. 
that will make them feel like New Jerseyans. You can also support us by liking, sharing, subscribing so more people find out about our museum and the channel. Thanks for watching.